Hello, this is the Trade State U.S. Stocks and Futures and Forex Market Preview for Thursday the 4th and Friday the 5th of March 2021. As usual, we typically do not do a market preview for uh, Fridays, and we probably won't this week because it hasn't been super exciting. We haven't gone anywhere. I will point out that next week we're going to have a Futures Contract Roll, Quarterly Futures Contract Roll, Thursday to Friday on the 11th and 12th, and also the week after is then uh, triple expiration on the 19th, with, which means some stuff on the 17th. But anyways, it is what it is. All right, here's the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. Uh, we didn't quite break the lows last week, um, but, you know, we came close, and it was definitely a negative day. Let's go through everything. So crude oil up $0.08 cents to $61.36. Doesn't really matter. Gold down $7.30. Like that's not pretty. It's at lows for the last since June, but it is what it is. S P Cash loses fifty point five seven. Still doesn't break the lows. Notice the lows were exactly the red static trend line that we're sitting on right now. Um, but we still haven't broken those lows. Nasdaq one hundred down three hundred seventy six points. That's a little more negative, and takes us under the lows of the last month. So that is interesting. The Sox down ninety five points. Not quite to new lows, but again that thirteen sell signal there was right on time so far. The biotech's down 177. That doesn't look pretty. Russell 2000 down 23.71. Whatever. The VIX gains $2.57 after coming back sharply, after going up hard. It is what it is. It's been a wicked ride on the VIX. Trend closes at 0.085, puts the 10 day at 0.99, which is not a signal. Um, but if I count backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're about to lose a big number tomorrow, so it's possible they'll start to come in down, which could get us towards something that matters. Uh, NASDAQ volume 5.5 billion shares, better than the last two days, lighter than most of the last two months, is what it is. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ negative uh, 11, 14, so that's not positive at all, obviously, and on the New York negative 155. Uh, Google loses 53.07. About to break back into that gap after the earnings. Apple down 306. We'll see what that leads to. Netflix down 27.12. Still sitting where it was back on 4th of July. Amazon down 89.53. This is all starting to look, though, like be careful here because if these big stocks break their lows of the last six months, it's not going to be pretty once it all happens. Tesla down 33.24, trying to break the static trend line that's there, that red static trend line. Facebook down $3.59. Zoom down 31.22, and that's approaching the lows. So a lot of these stocks are about to crack. A lot of these key stocks are about to crack their lows over the last six months. Goldman Sachs up $3.49. That's the anomaly. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, down $1.53. The Dow is down just $121. But we don't really care about the Dow. Bitcoin sitting back up at $51,500 or so. And it is what it is. When you look at the intraday action, here's the ES five-minute chart. So small gap down, never filled, went lower, came back almost to the opening level, definitely inside the opening five-minute candle. Then we headed into lunch and just drifted lower, and then after lunch tried to push lower, but it wasn't that exciting. NASDAQ side, um, much more negative, right? That's what we're seeing. So it is what it is. In terms of economic data coming out for the rest of the week on Thursday and Friday, and again, this is not options expiration or anything else. This is what, this is just whatever. Uh, consumer confidence out of Japan on tonight at midnight. Uh, we've got the uh, challenge of job cuts at 7.30 a.m. Eastern time here in the U.S. Revised non-farm productivity at 8.30. Revised unit labor costs, the weekly initial and continuing jobs claims numbers. Factory orders at 10 tomorrow morning. Natty gas at 10.30. Uh, and then going into Friday, there's not that much out of, we got some minor stuff out of Europe. And then uh, the big one is, big two, trade balance and the and unemployment rate with the non-farm payroll data at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time on Friday. So that could cause a gap in the market, and certainly for Forex, but for tonight we are full size. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading uh, Thursday and Friday.